here cultivating now. I actually put a brand new camera on the cultivator so I can see a little bit better. So it's working pretty good. Um, Good morning guys, it is Saturday, June 10th, and it's been a couple days since I tine weeded these soybeans, so I'm out here cultivating now. I actually put a brand new camera on the cultivator so I can see a little bit better. So it's working pretty good. Um, the tine weeder pass definitely made a huge difference. Places where there were weeds out here before are greatly diminished. Um, there's still, the big ones that I couldn't rip out are still out here, but the smaller ones, uh, I am just blown away by how well that tine weeder took those small ones out. Um, yeah, I just, definitely going to be doing that in the future. Um, I know I said on the last video that I wasn't sure if I, it was even worth being out here. Well, I can tell you right now that it was worth being out there. Um, made a huge difference. So I'm running about five mile an hour right now. Um, that's where I feel pretty comfortable. I can watch the camera. I can shift my line a little bit. Um, I need to. I do have the Acura track hitch on the tractor and the sway blocks out, but uh, I was having a little trouble with the sensor, the sensing wands. Um, just didn't, it wasn't staying on the row very well and it kind of wanted to get off. So um, since I've got this camera now, um, I was just kind of relying on the RTK and just watching that so um, decided to just shut it off for right now um, also the early this morning when I started the beans were still kind of um, I don't know if you call it drooped down a little bit but they're standing back up a little bit better now um, so I may try it here in a little bit but it seems to be working pretty good the way it is and like I said, watching my camera um, just works out pretty good. Pretty happy with it. It's kind of hard to see, but I still have planter drift. Um, so when I drop in, I usually have to go up to the beans and kind of judge off the front tires if it's going to be in the middle or not. And then I shift my line um, accordingly. And just there again watching the camera and kind of back here until I feel comfortable with how it's going and then and go ahead and take off so I'd like to go to a mounted stack fold planter at some point um, I feel like even though I have RTK on the tractor I don't have any implement guidance um, or anything on the planter, so I, I get some planter drift. And um, I mean, when you're working with, you know, trying to be that five inch um, gap between the cutaway discs, you know, it's. I mean, if you're if you're side to side, one, two, three inches. I mean, you're you're almost taking beans out so um, I'd like to go to a mounted planter at, at some point but um, there's still a few other things that I'd like to get first so it's working out pretty good I'll jump out here in a minute and show you what's going on so 
I just want to show you here um, this might be a little bit wider you know it's it's about as wide as my hand maybe a little bit wider um, but I'm just trying to you know cut everything away from the row that I can I gotta be pretty precise and like I said with the mounted planter it would make it a little bit easier to do that with so I'll show you my camera set up here um, it's kind of expensive uh, but I the ram I have ram mounts I bought these from shoot um, just worked out pretty well my camera I bought from uh, Larson lights and the monitors also from Larson's it's supposed to be an HD a high definition camera um, I think the camera is actually just 720p um, but the monitor he said uh, can go up to 1080p so that's, um, that's why I bought that system I've got the um, the camera or the RAM mount is actually on a magnet so I can I can take that off and I can put it on something else if I need to so I'd like to be throwing a little bit more dirt uh, up to the beans but um, it's just kind of the way it's set up I can't throw any more um, I could probably tilt tilt it uh, forward a little bit more, but then I don't bite in as, as much back here. Um, one thing I've learned with the single sweep cultivator is you have to get under this compaction layer. Um, it, it'll make some chunks, um, but you gotta get under that compaction layer or else you'll just be skimming across the top. Um, that's just behind the, the tires. Out here where it's, um, you know, you don't have any compaction out here because it's, it's just really nice and mellow. Um, I want to be going pretty deep. I know they say um, these cultivators are, you know, meant to be shallow and fast. I want to go deep with it because I want I want all the dirt that I can get if I need to throw more later on I want to have all the nice loose dirt that I can so that I can just push it right up to the beans so these are getting thrown uh, a little bit of dirt thrown on them which is fine um, you can actually bury beans you know pretty good as long as there's still green leaves showing um, they should come out of it just fine so it's kind of hard to throw a lot of dirt in the tire tracks. Um, but I feel like that tine weeder really just ripped a lot of this stuff out right next to the row. And then the cutaways are doing their job and cutting all the weeds um, away from the row as much as possible. I'll show you over here where I haven't cultivated yet. Um, so you can still see the tine. Uh, the tine tines I guess the the rows from them um, yeah just like I said you know it, it did a really good job uh, all right next to the row you know there's like this guy he was too big but you know that's okay because cultivator is gonna take that out so I'm not too worried about him it just I, I'm still I'm just amazed at how well that tine weeder did see this guy he was he was just too big um, he couldn't get ripped out so um, but you know all the all the little ones got ripped out I'm, I'm very impressed so I'll just go through a couple uh, quick settings uh, just for anyhow for guys that are uh, watching this that are running uh, Henniker 6000 so the outside, um, I've got the, the pin set in number four. Um, I didn't want it going too deep. It seemed like it was just running a big trench through there. All the rest of them are in um, 
the third one, two, two holes showing from the back, except for the tire tracks. I wanted these to go deep to get that compaction up, so they're in uh, the second hole, one showing from the back. Also, um, I thought that the uh, Coulter disc should be, you know, you should sink that thing all the way in so that, you know, you could get deeper. Well, that's actually opposite of what I've learned. You want that thing raised up all the way because that Coulter disc will hold the row unit out of the ground. I'm just setting my shields accordingly um, just so they're you know not throwing too much um, you know too big of chunks the cutaways are uh, in the second hole one showing and that's where I tried to, to bring them out just a little bit more, but uh, they were just too close. So I, I moved them back, but it's doing a really good job. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So we'll keep on going. I've got, uh, well, I'm about half done with this field with this 100 acres. Um, and then I've got 30 acres uh, transition beans to do yet. So. I should be able to get that done today, um, especially moving along at five mile an hour. I wasn't real sure uh, when I started if I'd be able to. I started pretty early this morning, but it's going pretty good. So um, we'll just keep after it. Just a quick update. Um, thank you for all, all, thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you on the next one.